In this video, we see the next law based on binary operation. In the previous video, we understood what is commutative law or what is commutativity. In this video, I have a new topic which is associative law or associativity. Let's see what is associativity and let's see some example to understand it in more detail. Let's read it together. Associative law is what? A binary operation star on set S is said to be associative if what happens if a star b star c is again equal to the same thing a star b star c only what is the difference the order is different in the first case you solve a star b first because it has a bracket and whatever result you obtain you then operate it with c but in the later part in the second side you solve B star C first, whatever result is obtained, you treat it with A. And these all A, B belong to the set S. That means the order is very much important. If you take 1 and 2 first and then the third element, things may change to something else. Let's see some examples as to when the things would be associative and when these would not be associative. So I have plus again positive addition on n on natural numbers and I have to check whether the addition operation on natural numbers is associative or not. Let's see what will be the case. I have a, b, c again and these all belong to natural number by far. Suppose a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, c is equal to 3, different elements can have different values. I am just taking to explain it, a simpler example for the sake of it. Now left hand side is what? It is a star b star c. You have to treat the first two first. Right? Now that means what? We have addition operation. Addition means you just have to take the plus of it. So the plus of a star b is what? It is a plus b because it is a bracket you have to solve it first. Bracket gets removed later but first we have star as it is. Understood that what we are doing is we are basically solving the bracket part first. Put the values a is 1, b is 2 and c is 3. Now what is 1 plus 2? 1 plus 2 is 3. Star 3. Star means the binary operation that you are taking into consideration. So what is the binary operation? It is addition. So 3 plus 3 will give me 6. This is the answer to A star B star C where A and B are solved first. What about solving A star B star C where B and C are solved first? then a star will remain as it is and b star c will become what it will become nothing but as b plus c we are basically solving the bracket first put the values a is 1 b is 2 c is 3 so 1 multiplied by 2 plus 3 now 1 multiplied by 2 plus 3 is what 2 plus 3 is 5 now 1 star 5 star means plus 1 plus 5 is 6. Do you note something? That both these cases have got the same answer as 6. That means the plus operation on n is what? It is associative. Because in the plus operation on n, what did not matter? The order did not matter at all. So we saw that the plus operation on n is associative. Similarly, you can go about checking by your own on your own that multiplication is also associative. That means the other example would be taking multiplication on natural numbers, on real numbers. The order does not matter. Even that is associative. Right? This can be done by your own. And in fact, in the plus on n, you can also check by putting any fractional value that whatever be the case the plus operation is always associative both on n and also on r 
and on real numbers also. But now let's see what about the minus operation. I mean the plus operation is always associative. It is associative. What about the minus operation? Let's go about doing the minus operation. Right. Minus operation means subtraction operation. So subtraction on R we are going to check. Right. Subtraction on R. Again, we have to check what is the value of A star, B star, C when the two orders are taken into consideration. Taking the first two or taking the later two, right? Suppose we have A is equal to 2, B is equal to 3, C is equal to 5. Any three values can be taken. Now, A star, B star, C, wherein A and B are taken first, means you have to first find a minus b and star c will not change it will remain as it is now what is a minus b 2 minus 3 is minus 1 so it is minus 1 multiply by c is 5 again we have two stars one star operation on two operands that means it is treated as a star b only which is a minus b so minus 1 minus 5 is minus 6. This is the answer to the consideration of A star B star C taking first two things in one bracket. What about taking the second and the third together? A star B star C taking the second and the third together. Let's write the values. A star will remain as it is. And B star C means B minus C. What is B minus C? 3 minus 5 which is minus 2. Now again we have two things which are treated as A star B only. These A star B things are what? A minus B. So that becomes 2 minus of minus 2. Why 2 minus? Because 1 minus was with this 2. The other minus because of A minus B. So minus minus becomes plus. The answer is 4. What do you note? Minus 6 and 4 are not equal. That means we talked about associativity that if it is associative it should be equal. But here we don't get equal results. So minus operation on real numbers is associative or not? It is definitely not associative. Hence in this video we saw that A star B star C, we see that it is only operation on three operands, but actually it has a lot of meaning and dimension to it. The order is not immaterial, it matters a lot that you take negative numbers into consideration, positive or natural or real numbers.